What's good fellas, I'm Rupert Hughes and today I will be reviewing Yesterday. Welcome to Basic Movie Review. This is my movie review now. I had to, had to buff things up a bit because business wasn't the best. I've been teasing this thing called One Bad Movie and just so you know, it is coming. And uh, I have one little thing to say. You'll float too probably wondering why I'm wearing this ridiculous hat it's because I am cool as you can see I have my little office set up I got uh, Squidward Joker I got some Darth Vader good pal of mine and yeah so today I will be reviewing yesterday it's the movie about the guy that lost all his teeth and it's kind of sad but what are you gonna do about it yeah it's a very sad movie about this guy losing all his teeth and uh, one little tiny thing I wanted to add in there. He's also, for some reason, the only guy that remembers the Beatles. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, it's not like what the whole movie's based on. But it's kind of, it's just a little bit weird. It's not just the Beatles, though. It's also Coca-Cola, cigarettes. Um, we got, uh, well, what's the last one? Harry Potter and Harry Potter. Overall, it was a fine movie. One thing that I have to tell you... It was kind of awkward when you have your little your little brother and then you got your mom on the other side sitting next to you in the theater and then your little brother starts going <laughs> whenever somebody kisses and your mom starts bawling her eyes out. Now at this point with my mom on one side and my brother on the other side, I I I sort of I sort of felt weird. I sort of felt unconsiderable I felt like I was in the middle and I felt like I didn't know what to do now me as a movie reviewer I have to do every single genre and I love romance romance is a good I like romance now, most people my age do not like those romance movies the dramas but I, I, I like them because I like movies and you know it's sort of weird walking into this movie thinking that it's going to be an action-packed, problem-solving thriller, maybe, starring uh, Wes Anderson. But no, it wasn't. It was the complete opposite. Weird to see a romance every now and then, because uh, romances sort of just sneak up on you and you don't know where a romance is going to happen. Now, if you decide to bring your kid, your young, your young, your youngin, your youngster, to one of these movies, Make me, let me make, oh, wait. <laughs> anyway, let me make one suggestion. You may want to bring a little bib, maybe uh, put a binky in, maybe put a blanket over them, nice and comfy cozy. You may want to uh, maybe put one of those little baby caps on, like I'm wearing right now. And you may, you may want to uh, put them to sleep. Because if you're thinking of bawling your eyes out during the movie, you sort of just want to bawl your eyes out. You don't want some little kid going whenever somebody kisses. Now, I am a perfect expert on romance, and um, me and Squiddy over here, we have been sharing a lot of things together over the past couple of years. I mean, days. Um, Somebody picked this up at Target for me, and he's been a great investment. I just, I just, so beautiful. Now, Squiddy here, he's an expert at these sort of things. You see, look at that dimple right there. That is one proud Squidward. You, in the back, the back says masterpiece. Like, that's how you know that this Squidward is a one of a kind. The product is called, let me just find it. Handsome Squidward. Now that, that is some very good matchmaking. Squidward is an expert and I took him to see yesterday and uh, he, he liked it very much. He said he's been in the yesterday situation, the, the romance situation in the movie, maybe 15 times with other people. So Squidward's just an expert and I asked him a few days ago, he's sort of shy right now, doesn't want to speak up. He's also one of my producers. Anyway, I asked him, like, what is romance? And do you know what he said? He said the wisest thing I've ever heard him say. He said, Romance is 
romance. God damn it, Squidward, I love you. <laughs> you are one proud Squidward. Squidward gets all the ladies. Who put that on my script? So, my words of advice. Do not bring your kids. There's not, there's just one. Don't, do not bring your kids. Now, um, now it's the time of the day where I ask people, my friends, my, my only friends, if they've been in a similar situation. Now, uh, Joker, what is your favorite romance movie? Joker says serendipity, and I do not blame him. That is a very good romance movie. Darth Vader said that Padme never liked romances. It's okay. It's okay. And Squidward says that he's seen every single romance movie that he doesn't even remember what romance is. Anyway, it was very creative. It was very fun. It was a good time. And it was not what you expected. I like this and I like that. I like that and I like this. So, I give this movie a 7 out of 10. Now, my producers didn't want me to say that, but I'm going to say it anyway because I really, 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 really want to say it. Um, here goes nothing. You may want to take the exterminator to this movie because it's infested with beetles. There you go. That's all I got to say. 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. Oh, no. Oh, no. 